everyone, so if you haven't guessed yet, I was off to Michael's this morning. As you can see, there are just so many options and I love being able to look at all the different colors and shades offered by all the different brands. I do try to shop local, but sometimes you just need those affordable options. There's so many cute colors. I'm absolutely in love. I absolutely love these little fleck ones. How cute is that? And here I'm just going to show you everything that I bought. I am doing a voiceover as I'm at my parents visiting this weekend. First ones up, I got Patton's Astra in the color Maze Yellow. Next is the same brand, and I got it in the medium tan. Next up is the Patton's, and I got it in the cherished green. I absolutely love this shade. I fell in love when I saw it. Next, I grabbed a crowd favorite, Karen Simply Soft, in the color Plum Wine. And I grabbed a pink ball of Loops and Threads Flex. Then last up, I grabbed a Patton Winter White. And of course, I had to hug my new friends. <laughs> Now a little classic moment, always realizing stuff after I start recording. <laughs> I just drew up a little mini plan. I'll show you here. This is just like one sleeve, one half of the cardigan that I want to create. And I'm gonna import a picture of the yarn. I'm just gonna fill in my color plan for what I hope this will turn out, just to give myself a little bit of a better idea at what I'm looking at. Of course, it's just a guide, and I'd love to show you all what my plan is so that I'm able to like kind of get an idea of where I want to place the colors next to each other. I'll show you what it turns out like here. If you're curious, I'm gonna use a five millimeter hook if there is a middle string, should I pull it from the side? Then I started to do the project. <laughs> so first I started off with a magic circle and then did six clusters of three double crochets. Your first one will be a chain three. I can link the pattern that I am referencing in the description. I just finished one, two, three three rounds of this hexagon pattern and I'm going to continue it until I get one of these sides to be the length of the circumference of a sleeve. Next video will be the whole process of this sweater but that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed my little follow along with me as I went yarn shopping and the intro to what I'm going to do with it. Bye!